And those are Motorhead, and this programme should have been dedicated right from the start to Doris Archer, gone but not forgotten, Shula Archer, who found her gran and delivered herself of the immortal line, I thought she was sleeping, and Dan Archer, who doesn't know yet. I better say no more. The first from Bow Wow Wow is called Radio G-String, and I know what Malcolm would like you to be doing right now. Click. See, already a sound you can identify immediately. That's Bow Wow Wow, the first from them for their session tonight. Radio G-String, the name of it. Adam and the Ants, as though you didn't already know, and that's Doggy Dog. And there are several former ants in the band Bow Wow Wow, the complete lineup of which is Matthew Ashman, guitar and backing vocals, Lee Gorman, bass and backing vocals, Dave Barbarossa on drums, and Best Man on vocals. This is called Umo Sex Alapache.
Madness Bow Wow Wow, who will be performing every Saturday night from November the 8th at the Starlight and Shepherd's Bush in London, which is a uh, disco roller, roller disco skating club. They got style, these people. 8 to 12, bring your cassettes, it says. Bow Wow Wow, and that was Umo, Al, Umo Sex Al Apache. In my personal view, at least half of every programme I do should consist of reggae music, but... Uh, well, it doesn't. I'm not quite sure why. That's the Ethiopian and from the LP Everything Crash on Studio One. That was called Open the Gate. And now another from Bow Wow Wow. Don't I sound jolly? I don't feel jolly at all. Amazing how we old professionals manage to keep going, faking it all the way. Fools rush in. <laughs> Bow Wow Wow and Fools Rush In, which charted, I mean the song did, for Brooke Benton back in 1961 and for Rick Nelson back in 1963. I don't remember, I, well I remember the Brooke Benton one, not the Rick Nelson one, I must confess, but they are according to the Guinness Book of Hit Singles, whatever it's called, the thing actually did. I thought I should never mention that on the radio, but tonight I've been forced to. 